The way I explain it in the afterlife frequency is we've all seen the, the uh, incandescent bulbs, all right? The, you know, the old style, the Thomas Edison developed uh, a light bulb. And, you know, now we're getting into LED, so, so they're getting away from this. But before an, um, an incandescent bulb burns out, there's a flash of light. It gets real bright. We've all seen that. And then you hear a pop. What's going on there is that the tungsten in the filament is no longer able to regulate the amount of electricity that typically goes through the light bulb. All right. It begins to degrade. And it's the same thing with the human brain. The brain does not create consciousness. It merely hosts it. Every spiritual teacher from the sages of ancient India through Zoroaster, through Moses, Buddha, Jesus, Muhammad, Lao Tzu, um, St. Francis, Gandhi, Native American spirituality, all hold that the soul, the who and what we are, pre-exists the body, comes into the body, moves on after the body dies. The laws of thermodynamics and physics teaches us that energy is neither created nor destroyed, only transferred from one form to another. You guys all study the human brain. You know it's got an electrical field, all right? And we all know that on the subatomic level, the basic unit of creation is the quantum. You know, from quantum, then we go to electrons, protons, neutrons, into atoms, into molecules, etc. So what's happening is when a person is transitioning, their brain is beginning to degrade, and like the tungsten in the filament of an incandescent bulb, it's no longer able to handle that amount of energy, so that if there's an energy spike, and the frequency of the transitioning person's electromagnetic soul now begins to interface, not just with the afterlife frequency. That's why people have deathbed visions and they say, oh my gosh, I'm seeing Aunt Martha and Uncle Bob and all these people that I love who died, but people in close proximity, family members, close friends, hospice workers, people that, that have no emotional connection, they get caught up in this frequency overlap. 